In today's video, I show you some nice MRE images from our 5-minute protocol and we compare them to our regular protocol. So let's jump right in. So here we have two sequences, sagittal PT, fat set, same patient, same knee, same site. And you can see both look quite nice. And I'm just scrolling through slowly for you to actually have a look at it. It's not quite the same location of the slices, but I think for the purposes of this video, to show you a five minute protocol versus the standard protocol, it's sufficient, okay? Can go a bit faster. So we can see all the findings, anatomy, nicely delineated tendons, meniscus, cartilage, everything looks, I think, pretty nice. So this is a three Tesla MRI scanner from GE Pioneer with Eric Contiel, the artificial intelligence algorithm that makes things look look nice and fast and yeah what which one do you think is the sequence that takes less time so it's actually this one so this is part this sequence is part of our five minute knee mri protocol that we use in emergencies or if we are kind of like delayed in the protocol or in the program rather and you can see you know this is a fully diagnostic sequence and we can scan the knee in about four minutes and 45 seconds or something like that and this one here is more like the standard protocol, which takes over 10 minutes to acquire, not for this sequence, but for the whole protocol. So you can see this is the fast sequence, this is the normal sequence. And I will do another video where I go into more detail, acquisition time and all of that. But for the purposes of this video, it's really just more about the comparison of the image quality and what you like more. So one thing that I find striking here is that I can see the bone marrow edema better on the quick sequence here as opposed to this one here. That's one thing that I find interesting. But, you know, cartilage-wise, we can see all the different findings. It's not a problem to make a diagnosis here at all. We can see it, a complex meniscus injury back there. So I think this is really beautiful that we are able to scan quickly, giving patients the option to actually come to an emergency slot, you know, putting them in between regular scheduled patients, just being more flexible with the scanner and our tools that we have. So I think, you know, we can agree both are fully diagnostic sequences. There's no limitation to this one. The image here generally looks a little bit sharper, um, but this is, you know, not necessarily a big advantage. Um, although, you know, will not make a clinical difference, let's put it this way. But let me show you also the other planes. So what do we have? I think we've got the T1. This is a plane, normal T1. And I think we have the other T1 as well. And here things look a little bit different. So let me just try to put this in the same plane. I think there's one, this is better, okay. So we can see the meniscus has a little bit of a different signal. It looks more black here again, and it's fully diagnostic T1 sequence, obviously, but the trabecular structure is much more sharper and delineated here on this sequence here, on the normal sequence, but meniscus looks better here or better delineated on the quick sequence. So, you know, I think, you know, we can work with both, but I think this is just an interesting observation at this point. And, we are, you know, just playing around with it at this point on this video here or in this video. Okay, so I think that was interesting. So let's have a look at, I think, what else do we have? I think we got a sagittal PD non-fat set. So again, just going to the same slice here. That's the one. And we can see black things appear blacker on the quick sequence. I think that's interesting observation here. Also, I can window this a little bit different. Um, we can see all the synovial proliferations up there in diffusion. We can see cartilage defects. We can see the ossicle here. It's just a bit sharper. We can see the meniscus, so cartilage again, nicely delineated. We can even go bigger, just like this. So we see everything. So there's nothing we miss on the quick sequence. So this then brings the question, why should we even use this protocol, to be honest? I think it's really just, you know, nicer to look at it, you know, it's sharp, it's sharper. But, you know, there's always, I'm still, you know, I like this quite a bit. So if I see this, it's still better than 
most of what we get uh, in other locations. So I'm, I'm very happy with this. Yeah, just wanted to share this with you guys. So let me uh, know in the comments what you think about this. Yeah, I hope you liked this comparison between the two sequences. Uh, it's quite a shame I don't have the exact time of acquisition at the moment, but I will do a separate video with the 5-minute protocol in the future. Now, if you're wondering what this guy is doing in my video at the moment, so this skeleton is still not named. I'm currently running a competition or a contest on my new community platform, so you can go to this link, you can register for free, and you can try to give this guy a name and the winner will then get a free one-on-one -on -one coaching session with me. So make sure you go over to the community portal, register and enter your name for the skeleton, and then I'll do a draw and basically the winner will get the session with me. So from then on, I will use this uh, skeleton then also for future videos and we will have a name that we can give to this uh, skeleton there. So yeah, that's the reason why he is in the shot. So the contest is running until end of October. So make sure you go over there at any time and then I'll see you there on the new community portal where we also discuss videos like this one. You can discuss the protocol there. I will share the protocol over on this community platform rather than here in the comments or something. And yeah, so that's what we are going to do. In case you haven't subscribed, make this right now, give the video a like and also you know, make sure you hit the bell notification and you get an email every time I upload a new video and so you don't miss anything that's coming up soon. And with that, thanks for watching and see you next time.